So in order to make the settings ready for worse view, I'm going to share the setup that is required. So as you can see, <clears throat> when worse view starts up, this is the default screen that you will be seeing. And on this page, you can see the verses, lyrics, notes, search, schedule, graphics, and screens. On the screens tab, you need to select the screens tab and you can see here, enable main presentation. Usually by default, it may be ticked. You have to untick this and keep only enable stage presentation as ticked. Enable stage presentation is required for the people who have one screen, which they use the Zoom as well as for display. Okay, so make sure main presentation is unchecked and only stage presentation is ticked. Once you do that, you can click on save. And after you click save, close your worst view so that it will open up again with the saved settings. Close it and open worst view again. Now it will open with the Once the verse view has opened, what you need to do is, we have to make sure that our verse view window is sized appropriately so that you can navigate to the verses or the songs that you want to display. And what that means is you double click on the top portion of this window and you drag it to the top right corner and you adjust the size by holding the corners of your worst view window and make it all the way comfortable so that you have enough play area to move your and navigate your mouse and cursor. Now, when you click any verse, you will be able to see a small tiny window that will open up on the top left. This is called as the stage view window. And this stage view window is what we want our audience to see when we share our screen. So this is always here on your top left. Now you can adjust the size of your navigation window. That means the one which you want to select the verse and the everything that the administration you want to do for the verse view. The main thing that you need to make sure is this window here, the navigation window and the stage view window, they should not overlap with each other. Okay that will block your audience visibility of the stage view window. So just keep them here next to each other. And all you need to do is select what verse you want from the verse view on the right. And you can see it's already changing here on the stage view window. For example, I want to select Isaiah 56 verse four. I can type it here in the search box, click enter, and you can see that the verse will already show up. Here you can see it's already showed here, Isaiah 56 verse four. Now, if you want to copy and paste this into the chat, just click your mouse here anywhere on the stage view window in the text, control A, that will copy the entire thing. Control, sorry, control A is to select everything. Control C is to copy, and you can directly go into the Zoom chat and you can paste it over here and it will appear in your Zoom chat for everybody to see including the reference and everything will come in both the languages. So same way you want to keep changing the songs, uh, sorry, the verses, you just need to click and it will change here on the stage view window. Now, for you to be able to share the screen of the stage view window, you need to click on the share green icon in the bottom of the zoom screen. And when you click there, you will be able to see a small uh, multiple windows, yeah, multiple windows options. You can see screen one, screen two, whiteboard, iPhone, iPad, worse view, and then you can see stage view window. You need to select stage view window and click the blue button called share. And now your people on the Zoom audience can see only your stage view window like you can see in the recording right now. So make sure the setup is already there keep the two screens near to each other. And once you've done that, you will be able to uh, have the stage view window separated from the main window, and you will be able to have 
the audience see only the verses from the stage view window. 